day out here at this 1880s property again. I just wanted to come out here. Um, I'm off work all week this week and today's Labor Day. So I just wanted to do a little bit this morning. I haven't really had a chance to get out here and actually grid off the property. I've just been spontaneously, you know, walking around and then concentrating on a spot where I find something. So I'm going to go through and really make sure I cover most of the property today, at least the front anyway. So we'll see you at the first hole, guys. First signal, ring it up as a, as a solid 75, and it was real deep. It was probably about four or five inches deep. It's just this little metal disc. I thought that it was going to be a, a coin, but it's not. All right, guys, on to the next one. Next target's coming up as about a 55 up to 60. And that's right in the range for uh, shotgun shell head stamps, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to do it live real quick to see what we got. Right there. It's small, whatever it is. It's not a shotgun shell. That's not it. Well, no way. Let me wave the coil back over. Because that was just a little tiny baby nail. I don't think that could have been it. No, but I'm getting a way better signal now that that iron's out of there. You can, I don't know if you can see that or not. I missed my mark by a little bit is what it was. Oh yeah, this is just a piece of fencing or something. Hey guys, getting a really deep 70 signal here. And I've already pulled it out a little bit. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be another one of those uh, Ford Model T center caps. But this one, yeah, you can see the ORD made in USA right there. See, but this one is, is how I've... How we normally see them come out of the ground. Um, I was really lucky to find that last one. Let me tilt you up a little bit so you can see here. Yeah. Still a cool piece though. With it being crushed, it actually preserves some of the surface and it's still shiny in places. Still a keeper though. I love these. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, next signal here, ringing up at a really solid 86. Um, I don't think it's a coin based off of that number, but it's ringing up crisp like one does. So let's find it together. And it's real deep too, guys. Let's see what we got down here. Okay, so I'll have to pop it out. Okay, this is going to be real big. This is probably a can. A deep, deep can. Maybe not. Oh, cool. It's another uh, pocket watch facing, or just the round piece around it. It's been broken out. Sorry, guys, a big truck went by. Finally got something good on the live dig. Or the live search. Yep, this is just going to be old... pocket watch 
piece. So cool, maybe I'll find the rest of this one too. That's the second pocket watch that I found out here on this property. Thanks. Hey guys, next signal ringing up is a really good 80. Got this old uh, cylinder out of an old cap gun. And look how deep this joker was. It was eight inches deep, every bit of. Popped a good big size plug and then had to keep digging. So that's a good one. They don't make them my at no more, man. All right, guys. Going through here, and I am in the sun burning up. But you know what? I'm doing what I love to do, so it is A-OK. -okay. Right where this little impression here is. I don't know how well you can see it on the chest strap. I was getting a good 75, 78. Um, and I didn't live dig it because my uh my battery isn't fully charged so i'm trying to spare the battery so i'll stop talking i got a ring ring number two out of this yard this one isn't precious um it looks copper and the way it was ringing up i think it is copper but def just an old kid's ring because that's as far as it gets on my finger but it's really good like well made it's got a little cross on it All right, guys, I'll get some close-ups in the wrap-up. On to the next one. Guys, just working around this little small tree you see right here. Found that little ring, like, right around here. I was right here, and I found, actually, let me show you. I found that little pocket watch uh, turny thing right here. So over here, I was getting another 80 si uh, sim or signal. And uh, thought it was an aluminum can because how deep you see it is. It's very, it's down here at the very, very bottom of this hole. So 10 inches deep. I think, I think, I think, I think that this is another pocket watch. But this one has been in the ground so long that it is one big rusted iron round piece. Oh wow, look at that. Look how that look how good that just cleaned up right there. Oh wow. I'm gonna take a break and get this thing cleaned up up by the car and I will turn the camera back on. Thank you. Hey guys, there it is. It's it's real, real rusty. I thought that might be uh silver, but it's not. It's just the stainless. But this is going to be the a pocket watch to that little round piece that I found earlier. But that's really, really, really old. I'm going to still try to get it cleaned up to see if I can get any patent dates and stuff off of it when I get home. Yeah, that one's old, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. So, these are few and far between. But I'm getting a 93 to 94 here. Um, I've already flipped the plug, um, and you know what those numbers sometimes mean. This is probably trash, but just that slight chance that this is something good, I just wanted to record it. So let's see here. Alright, so let's get all this out of the way. And already... It's uh, ringing up a little bit deeper than it said it was, so I don't think. Yeah, it's gonna be some big iron. All right, well, let's pop this out and see what it is. Maybe it's some kind of good relic that we don't have. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Oh, it's a Buick um, emblem. Be real careful with it. I don't think it came off of this piece. I don't even think this piece is... Yeah, this piece isn't even conductive. 
That's what was ringing up. Oh, so cool. So cool. Wasn't a half dollar, but it was still a cool old relic. Let me get it brushed off and I'll uh, turn the camera back on. There she is, guys. It's a really good find. Have never found one like that. It's starting to come apart up there, but I'll be able to save this for sure. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the car so it doesn't fall apart in my pouch. But Happy about that one. All right, guys, on to the next one. All right, guys, going to do a live dig here for you. Getting a really good 77, 78. And if you can see the VDI, it's hanging out right there. So let's see what we got here. Got this sand here, so there ain't no making a plug in this stuff. Cut me a little octagon here. It was ringing like it was kind of sort of on top, so I'm only cutting like a two inch plug. Let's see. Now it's up to 76. So it's exposed a little bit. Let's see where this thing's at. right there under some of those grass roots and it's gonna be sorry, I think it's gonna be the door off of an old toy car and if it's a Tootsie it'll say Tootsie right here in the door it should I don't know what that is actually Let me brush it off here, see if it's got a name. Nope. Just a piece to an old toy car or something, I would imagine. Guys, we're on to another one. I got a, about a foot deep, A uh, there's a vintage glass bottle. Um, it looks whole, so I'm going to... Try to pop it out real quick and I'll turn the camera back on. Guys, it's not embossed or anything, but it's got some design down here. And it's got the maker's mark on the bottom. You can see it there with the mold number. Looks like it might have been um, hot sauce or, you know, some kind of season. But if you look, and it's probably hard, real hard to see here. I can tell this thing's real old because of the imperfections it looks like it's spouted kind of to the right a little bit it's just not perfectly straight it's actually kind of funny and I was getting a signal in this hole and I still haven't found it yet so let's see what that was it'd be cool if there was another bottle in this hole that's just a that's just a piece of Oh, that's a piece of glass, so we got to be careful on this hole. Oh, just a nail. All right, guys, I'll turn you back on if there's another one down there. Thanks. Hey, guys, just a quick wrap up. This, lunt, this, one, this hunt didn't last as long as I wanted it to. It got really hot out there, and uh, it's Labor Day, so I figured I'd ride on home and hang out with the family. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and move to the backyard at that property um, just to see what's back there. I've seen a little indention in the... In the yard out there where there might have been a, a dump or where they burnt trash or something years ago so we might dig out there a little bit and see what we can find but first thing i'm going to start with just these uh junk items i got a 
I thought this was a what they call a watch stopper bullet, but it's not. It's a uh, just a bolt with a washer that's broken. Here's a, a, a uh, bolt or nut. Sorry, I couldn't think of anything for a second. I thought that was a coin when I dug it up, but just a metal disc. Two memorials, and here's the good stuff. Got a cylinder to an old toy cap gun. It's an oldie, and it's heavy. Um, this is, if I am correct, I believe that this is a uh, 1953 steel wheat penny. I've seen these found, and they look just like this when they're pulled out of the ground because the steel rusts. So that's a pretty cool one. Um, next, I found another Ford Model T hub, and this one's in you know normal shape for pulling it out of the dirt. The other one I found is in really, really good shape, so I'm happy I got a pair of these now. Then I found this pocket watch outing, you know, outer piece. I don't know exactly what you would call that. It doesn't have a patent date or anything on it. And then I found what I imagine is the inside piece to the pocket watch and the gears are made of iron so they are super rusted out this is a junk piece I just brought it in to show it with the with this and then I got this Buick tag it was ringing up as a good 95 I thought I had a, a silver half dollar or something and I'm not sure what year make or anything like or the model or anything like that that this came off of but it's metal, and I think that this is a ceramic or porcelain on the sign. And you, if you can see, I'll take a really good close-up picture of it. You can see little cracks, and it might be metal topped right there, but I, I don't think it is. So I don't know if that was a centerpiece to a steering wheel um, or a piece that came off the outside of the vehicle. Who knows? Um, and lastly, I think that's everything here. Or no, I wanted to show this. I got an old, this was a bonus find. An old hot sauce, I think it's hot sauce bottle. It does have the maker's mark down there on it, so we'll be able to find that. But if you look, it's got a crooked top. So I thought that was really cool. And now last thing is going to be this ring. It's copper or brass, I'm not sure. Um, it was ringing up as a 65, jumping up to 68. And it was every bit of 8 inches deep. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a really cool ring. I would imagine it was a kid's ring because it's tiny, tiny, tiny. But it was probably a really well-made kid's ring for it to last that long. All right, guys, I'll get close-up pictures of everything, too, so you guys can see everything close-up. Pretty good relic hunt this time. Didn't get any silver coins, but, man, I, I really think they're out there. It's just there's so many iron nails where that teardown was. It's just so hard to get signals right there, but we're slowly getting them out. All right, guys, go down there and like this video, and I appreciate everybody watching.